like even you and I, I know you're you're out of more of the consulting world, um, whereas I'm an internal guy doing internal testing. So um, for what I understand, like in the consulting world out there, I mean, you guys are cranking out. It's definitely more experience. Like if you want to get the experience, probably do the consulting side of it, because um, I would assume you're cranking out a lot more engagements and reporting and testing and all that. But then, you know, it's a faster pace, probably a little bit more pressure, whereas internally, you know, we have assessments and things that are on the books and scheduled and plan and it's pretty much a set amount of engagements that we do per year um and then you know just odds and ends requests that come from internal colleagues looking at things here and there um so internally like for an example we typically do around five or six full out engagements a year and that's between two of us like there's only two of us internally to do these so uh, we do the compliance testing specifically pci testing um two different environments for that and then uh, two two big red team engagements. We do some network segmentation, uh, validation and assessment. And then, like I said, just other odds and ends tasks that come through. Like recently, I just created like a password filter list uh, for our organization. So they'll come to us for stuff like that. And it's a lot of the day-to-day -day work as an internal guy, you're going to be doing a lot of administration stuff, you know, submitting change requests for your infrastructure, maintaining your infrastructure, your tools, your scripts. So it's a lot of that day-to-day -day stuff on top of the engagements that we do. So that's kind of what a role looks like as an internal guy. Yeah, like you said, I am in the consulting world and that's the only world I've been in. So um, so I've had two pen testing roles. I had a, IT, a pen testing internship. I did that for four months. And then I'm in my current role as a full-time pen tester. And both of those are consulting. And the way it works is like, yeah, you get a week, two, maybe three on an engagement with a client. And then you go in this environment that you've never seen before and you have to learn a lot of stuff on the fly. And you have to, you know, crank out a report pretty quickly. And it, there is a lot of pressure, especially if you're new. Uh, and that was one of the things that, that was hard for me to kind of get a hold hold of was, and I'm still, you know, battling with that. Like, yeah, you, you have to deliver this report by, you know, the end of the week. And it's a lot of, there's a lot of pressure there. And uh, exactly. I like how you mentioned how, you know, there's a lot of pressure in the consulting world. So I'm assuming there's probably less, a little less pressure when you're an internal pen tester because I feel like you don't have as strict of a deadline. Is that is that accurate to say? Yeah, that's fairly accurate. And not only that, it's just we have a newer team and like some of these teams for the corporations for offensive security are kind of newer. So, you know, we're kind of developing our, our own processes internally and what we're doing. Um, but yeah, yeah. That's good to know because when I was applying for positions, uh, obviously I was looking for, so I was only applying for places that said penetration tester. Uh -huh. And I was wanting to be in a, a consultant role just because I do like that um, helping clients fix problems. I think that is um, just kind of my nature. Uh, I do enjoy that a lot. And I really enjoy, even though there's a lot of pressure, I do enjoy getting thrown into a random environment and it changes from week to week, you know, so it doesn't get boring. It doesn't get stale. And I, that's what I was worried about when it came to internal pen testing. So in your world, um, what would you say about anybody who is worried about like the work getting stale? Is it is it a problem or do you think there is an actual legitimate worry there when it comes to internal pen testing getting boring after a while? No, great question. Um, I would say it gets boring, you know, because you look at the, the requests that are coming through daily, like the changes and things to the environment. Our environment changes daily, like seriously daily it's it's crazy how much just new 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 infrastructure gets spun up uh so that opens up the network depending on what apps are running on it this or that just new technologies implemented infrastructure so i mean at the end of the day the environment's changing daily so you will find you'll still find new things to work on and uh, new attack paths for sure and i think that's that's always going to be the case as an internal guy because it's a constantly changing environment so yeah i think it's uh definitely still diverse it's just really, like you said, the timeline of completing the work may be a little more, you know, relaxed than in the consulting world. But I wouldn't say it's boring, no. That's, that's good to know.